It's time for me to be completely honest with you guys. Yamaha doesn't have any new models for 2023, but what they are doing is expanding some of their most popular features to more models, and they're actually dropping a couple models from their lineup. Here's what's up. In terms of what's new, power steering gets spread farther across the Sidewinder lineup. Pretty much every trail-focused Sidewinder model now has its standard. It was a feature Yamaha customers loved, so Yamaha is making sure more of them can enjoy it. Interestingly, the SR Viper does not get power steering. It is more of a price point model for Yamaha, but I would like to see a version with power steering in the future. So what new models do get power steering? There will be many go fast guys happy to hear the SRX now comes with it, as well as the LTX LE. In fact, the only trail focused Sidewinder that does not come with power steering for 2023 is the more price conscious LTX SE. The next piece of news from Yamaha for 2023 is that at least for this coming season, there's no word if this is a permanent change or not, but all Japanese built chassis are now out of the lineup. This means no more Venture, no VK540 or VK Professional. Yamaha says the reason they aren't offering these models in 2023 is because they were actually able to build extra of these in 2022 and still have enough available to satisfy demand for this coming season. This will allow them to focus all 2023 production on the higher volume units like the Vipers and the Sidewinders. The only other changes to report from Yamaha in 2023 is that the XTX LE now gets IQS suspension and all Venom models now get high and low hot grips. The news from Yamaha this coming season is similar to what it's been over the past few seasons. Incremental improvements across the lineup guided by input from actual Yamaha buyers. For 2023, Arctic Cat is releasing one new model and bringing back an old favorite. The rest of the lineup receives incremental changes. All Blast models get one update across the entire lineup, and that is the inclusion of high and low hot grips on every model. It seems like a small thing, but it makes a big difference. Another change made across the entire lineup of Arctic Cat's snowmobiles is the naming structure. There are no longer multiple trim levels like Snow Pro and RR for each model. Each model now comes in one trim level with a combination of the most popular features. It certainly makes things simple, but for any of you who are upset about not being able to get an RR next season, there is a new model coming just for you. The 6000 RXC is, not close to, not kinda, but is Arctic Cat's cross-country race sled now available for consumers. To say this sled is serious is an understatement. The 6000 Series motor sees a long list of changes, including a 12-pound lighter exhaust can. The engine itself has been tuned to make maximum power at 7,000 RPM, and yes, I said that correctly. The seat is a bizarre two-level unit with an area for sitting and a cutout area in the front that allows your leg to sit lower on the tank when you're hanging way off the side of the sled in the corner. It looks weird, but it works amazing, especially when combined with the 43.5-inch ski stands. There are other changes to this model that make it capable of handling the abuse of cross-country racing, but you'll have to watch our test ride to find out everything. For now, you'll just have to trust me when I say this sled shreds in the twisties. For 2023, both Articat and Yamaha have set their sights on making their current lineup of sleds even better versus bringing a whole bunch of new stuff to market. And the truth is, these really are the best Articat and Yamaha snowmobiles they've ever built.